A printed page must contain 60 square centimeter of printed material. There are to be margins of 5 cm on either side and margins of 3 cm on the top and bottom. What are the dimensions of the printed area to minimize the amount of paper to be used? Identify natin kung alin yung quantity dito na kailangan nating i-optimize. So ang sabi, i-minimize daw natin yung amount ng paper na gagamitin or we'll just minimize the total area of the paper. Drawing natin ngayon yung figure for this. Let's say ito yung ating paper. Then ito yung printed area. Yung printed page, ito yun, meron siyang total area na 60 square centimeters. So, tuwagin natin itong dimension na to as x and y. Yan yung kailangan natin hanapin para ma-minimize yung area ng paper. So, we know that the margins sa top and bottom ay 3 centimeters. And from there, makukuha natin yung dimension na to ng papel. So, that will be 1y, ito yun, plus 3, plus 3, or that is y plus 6. Then, for the sides, meron tayong margin na 5 centimeters. So, makukuha natin yung width ng paper as this, ito yun plus 5 plus 5 or that is x plus 10. Yung area ng paper is equal to the width times the length x plus 10 multiplied by y plus 6. Bago natin may differentiate to, kailangan ma-reduce muna natin to in one variable. Paano natin gagawin yun? So, hanap tayo ngayon ng expression for x or y in terms of the other or meron tayong restriction dito na yung area ng printed material must be 60 square centimeter. So, we can write an expression for that. Ang area niya is 60. So, 60 is equal to x times y. Sulat natin si y in terms of x and we'll have 60 over x. Palit natin ngayon yun dito. The area is equal to x plus 10 multiplied by y 60 over x plus 6. Before differentiating, expand muna natin. x times 60 over x, 60. 10 times 60 over x is 600 over x plus 6 times x, 6x plus 6 times 10 is 60. Simplify, and we'll have 120 plus 600x plus 6x. Then, differentiate natin to. Derivative of a with respect to x is equal to derivative of 120 is 0 plus derivative ng 600 over x. So, pwede natin isulat yan as 600 times x raised to negative 1. And the derivative of that is negative 1 times 600 divided by x squared plus derivative ng 6xi6. So we'll equate this to 0. And we'll have now the expression negative 600 over x squared plus 6. Ipat natin sa kabila negative 6 equals negative 600 over x squared. So, divide both sides by negative. Kakancel to. Then, lipat natin sa kabila dito. Si x squared. Then, divide the whole equation by 6 and we'll have this. So, x squared is equal to 100. Taking the square root of both sides, we'll solve for the value of x that is equal to positive and negative 10. 
And wala naman tayong negative dimension. So, obvious that x is equal to positive 10. And y is equal to 60 over x. That is equal to 6. So, the dimension of the printed area is equal to 10 and 6 para ma-minimize natin yung amount ng paper na gagamitin. A closed box with a square base is to contain 252 cubic feet. The bottom cost $5 per square foot, the top cost $2 per square foot, and the sides cost $3 per square foot. Find the dimensions that will minimize the cost. Ang target natin ma-optimize for this problem is the cost. Kailangan minimum lang yung cost ng magagawa nating box. Drawing muna tayo ng figure for this problem. So we have a closed box, meaning may top, bottom, and the sides. And meron daw siyang square base. So drawing lang natin ng rough. Let's say this will be the sides. Ito yung ating top. Then... Sabi meron daw tayong square base, tawagin natin yung dimension na yun as x. So dahil square siya, yung dimension na to is also x. And let's call the height as age. Now, let's develop the function. So we're solving or minimizing for the cost. Tawagin natin siyang c. And that is equal. So the bottom cost, $5 per square foot. Yung bottom, ito, the area is x squared, so that is 5 multiplied by x squared plus, next info, yung top daw is nagkakos ng $2 per square foot. So yung top, so dahil square yung base, square din yung top, meaning the area of the top is also x squared, so we'll have 2 times the area ng top x squared plus yung price ng side or yung cost ng sides ay $3 per square foot. Therefore, meron tayong apat na sides. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And ang area niya is x times h. So, meron tayong 4 na sides. Ang price is 3 per square foot, and ang area is x times h. So, meron na tayo ngayong function for the cost. And before differentiating this, let, let's reduce this into one variable. Ano ba yung constraint na meron tayo dito? So, sabi, yung capacity daw niya is 252 cubic feet. That will be the volume of our box. So, the volume is 252 cubic feet. And, ano ba yung volume niya? That is x times x times the height. So, 252 is equal to x squared h. Let's write h in terms of x. So, divide both sides by x squared. And, we'll have h as 252 over x squared. Palit natin ngayon ito dito sa value ng age. So, the cost is equal to, pagsamahin na natin to, we'll have 7x squared plus 4 times 3 is 12 times x and age is 252 over x squared. Simplify pa natin before we differentiate. We can cancel x dito. So, we'll have the cost is equal to 7x squared plus 12 times 252 is 3024 over x. Let's differentiate c or the cost with respect to x. Derivative of c with respect to x is equal to derivative ng 7x squared is 14x. 3024 over x can also be written as three thousand twenty-four times x raised to negative one. 
So using power rule, we can have negative 3024 multiplied by x raised to negative 2. Then we'll equate this to 0. That is equal to 14x minus 3024 over x squared. Lipat natin sa kabila. 3024 over x squared equals 14x cross multiply si x squared and baba natin dito si 14 so 3024 over 14 is equal to x cubed 3024 over 14 is 216 then switch sides lang tayo x cubed is equal to 216. Solving this equation, we'll have two complex roots and a real root na 6. So we'll have x equal to 6. Solving for h, that is just equal to 252 over x squared. Or we have 252 over 36. So we have age as 7. So we now have the dimensions na 6 for the base. So 6 by 6 yung base. And yung height ng box natin is 7.